Okay, so we're going to talk about real estate today, real estate for sale. We're going to do some searching. And the real question is, how much is a piece of property worth? Well, that all depends. Uh, we'll go and do, do a simple property search, and we're going to find a whole bunch of homes that meet. In this case, I chose Johnstown, New York. And you'll notice some of them are three bedrooms, and some are five bedrooms, and some cost more than others. So, a lot of factors to consider when it comes to price. And we want to factor that in and figure out how to price something or what an expectation might be for its cost. We might use something called regression analysis. Now, in order to use regression analysis in Excel, it probably has to be added because it may not come as default. There's an add in a tool, a toolkit that we need. So what we're going to do is first take a look at the data menu. And you notice I've pointed an arrow to a spot where there's nothing. That's important because if you don't have the data analysis package added in, then you won't find regression analysis. So the first thing we're going to learn is how to get it. The way we're going to do that is we're going to go to the uh, menu here, the file menu, and instead of doing open or save as, we're going to go to those options that we almost never do down at the bottom. And we get to options, we find that there's a lot of them. And the one we want is add-ins because we need this additional package. Let's call the analysis tool pack. You can see that. And when I click on that, it pops up with some features. Um, sometimes I've, I've played around with uh, some of the other things like Euro currency tools and so on or solver add-in. But today we're gonna deal with the analysis tool pack. So we're just gonna check mark that. And suddenly when you go to the data menu, you'll see that you now have a data analysis option on the ribbon and when you click on that there's lots of things that you can do for data analysis okay we're going to open up excel here and do something that i find interesting it relates to real estate and i've got some real values here i've got a bunch of houses some are ranch some are bungalow a couple of cape cods and um, i'm not looking at the building style though in this case what i'm looking at is all the other things baths half baths bedrooms fireplaces living uh, area that is square footage, basements, and age. I'm going to factor in those things and see if I can determine my best guess of the assessment uh, price. I've got one other property I'm going to take a look at, and I'm going to guess the answer down here. I'm going to see, see what it would likely be. Now, let me just address basements because most people have one basement, but if you have a partial basement, it's a 0.5. If you have a crawl space, it's a 0.25. And if you have a slab, it's a zero. So we have to turn everything into a number. Square footage, of course, is easy. Age is easy. So is bedrooms and fireplaces and half baths and baths. So we're going to add that all up. What we're going to do is something called regression analysis. So I'm going to go to data, data analysis, and regression. Now, my input range, that's the Y, is going to be my assessment. That's the dependent variable. All the the value of the range is dependent on all the other things. When I say all the other things, I mean these things right in here. And the computer can actually calculate a value associated with them. Now I added it with label, so I'm going to add that label button there. I'm not putting the constant at zero. We, we could, we'll talk about that perhaps later, but I'm going to set it up into a new worksheet. So I'm going to hit OK here. And it comes out with some funky data that may mean very little to you. But here it says the R squared is the is 0.85. R squared is the correlation, the coefficient of correlation. How closely correlated are they? So basically 85% of the value of the home can be determined based on just those factors. And what we have here is the number of bathrooms times 12,302 number of half baths that adds a half bath will add 4,253 to your thing. Now the number of beds it says is uh, negative 9,000. That may not actually make sense but it starts with an intercept of 67,000. So that's the reason why. I didn't set up a, a, a zero in the beginning on that. Living area is $45 per square foot. Basement is 72,000 age. The older it is, the, the worse it is. So let's see if we can actually calculate that uh, value here by saying <coughs> the 
base is going to be equal to, I'm sorry, uh, right here, the intercept. And the bathroom isn't going to be equal to the intercept. It's going to be equal to that intercept times bath. And coming down right there, if we wanted to, we would then uh, do a sum. Auto sum will do on that. And it comes up with 112,795. Its actual value was 111,000. So it was pretty darn close. Now, let's go back and take a look at that data one more time. And this time I'm going to say the constant is zero. Again, create a new worksheet. In this case, it's got completely different values. The R squared is 0.99. Wow, that's pretty good. Because it assumes 15,000 for a bathroom. A half bath adds 3,800. The number of beds, for some reason, the more beds, the lower the price. It doesn't make any sense. But fireplaces, it's determined at 18,000. Living area, 88 dollars per square foot. Basement adds 13,000. And the age costs you $500 per. So if we go back to the assessment and change this from sheet 1 to sheet 2, and this to sheet 2, we now see that its actual value in this case would have been 118,000 was the guess. So it was actually off by uh, a bit more than the first one.